In the rapidly evolving landscape of naval warfare, where threats from hypersonic missiles, submarines, and unmanned drones are becoming commonplace, the Royal Navy is charting a course toward unparalleled maritime superiority. By integrating advanced manned destroyers with a fleet of uncrewed vessels, the UK aims to project power across global oceans, while minimizing risks to personnel and maximizing operational efficiency. Central to this vision are the Type 83 destroyer, the Type 91 missile barge, the Type 92 sloop, and the Type 93 chariot, platforms that blend cutting-edge technology with strategic innovation. These systems, set to enter service in the late 2030s, will enable the Royal Navy to dominate contested waters through enhanced air defense, missile firepower, and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. So, how the Royal Navy will dominate the seas with the Type 83, 91, 92, and 93? Let's discuss! The new projects are specifically designed to address emerging challenges, such as hypersonic missiles, saturation attacks, and subsurface threats. The Type 83 is being developed with the capability to defend against these advanced threats. The distributed magazine capacity of the Type 91 would enable the fleet to withstand a high volume of incoming missiles, while the combination of the Type 92 and Type 93 is intended to establish a persistent anti-submarine barrier in strategic areas like the North Atlantic, a key capability for NATO. At the heart of the Royal Navy's future fleet is the Type 83 Destroyer, a next-generation guided missile platform designed to replace the aging Type 45 Destroyer starting around 2035. BAE Systems is developing conceptual designs, the Air Warfare Command Ship, for the Royal Navy's Type 83 Destroyer, leveraging the experience and modular features of the Type 26 Frigate Program to ensure interoperability and reduce costs. This formidable warship expected to displace up to 10,000 tons, will feature an expanded arsenal of 70 to 128 vertical launch system cells, allowing it to carry a diverse array of strike, air defense, and hypersonic weapons. As the centerpiece of the future air dominance system, FADS for short, the Type 83 will provide integrated air and missile defense for carrier strike groups, incorporating advanced sensors, command and control systems, and directed energy weapons like lasers for close-range protection. The destroyer's design emphasizes interoperability, with features such as an integrated mast for radar and communications, surface ship torpedo defense, and aviation facilities for helicopters and drones. This versatility will allow it to counter aerial threats, launch precision strikes, and coordinate with allied forces, ensuring dominance in high-intensity conflicts. Complementing the Type 83 is the Type 91 Missile Barge, an innovative uncrewed or minimally crewed arsenal ship conceived to amplify the fleet's offensive punch. BAE Systems is also involved in the conceptual design of the Royal Navy's Sensor Effector Platform, SEP for short, for the Type 91 project. This vessel, potentially armed with up to 128 missiles, laser weapons, decoys, automatic cannons, and deployable drones, will serve as a floating magazine, extending the reach and endurance of manned warships without exposing human crews to direct danger. Controlled remotely or via AI, the Type 91 will focus on saturating enemy defenses with volleys of precision-guided munitions, making it ideal for supporting amphibious operations or deterring aggressors in contested regions like the South China Sea. By offloading missile storage and launch duties from primary destroyers, the Type 91 allows the Royal Navy to maintain a persistent presence, overwhelming adversaries through sheer volume of fire while keeping costs lower than building additional full-scale destroyers. Shifting focus to subsurface threats, the Type 92 sloop represents a leap in uncrewed surface vessel technology tailored for wide-area anti-submarine warfare in the North Atlantic. With Russian undersea activity increasing, the Royal Navy is taking inspiration from the philosophy behind the Flower-class corvettes, simple ships designed to be built quickly to scale up the anti-submarine warfare force. As part of Project Cabot, this large anti-submarine warfare-capable platform will act as a floating sensor hub, 
relaying real-time data to command centers and launching smaller drones or torpedoes to hunt enemy submarines. Self-deployable and designed for persistence, the Type 92 can operate in harsh environments, providing a cost-effective way to expand the Navy's anti-submarine warfare mass without relying solely on manned frigates. Its modular design may include towed array sonars, dynamic positioning systems, and facilities for medevac or drone operations, enabling it to cover vast ocean areas and integrate seamlessly with submarines and aircraft for layered defense. Beneath the waves, the Type 93 Chariot, an extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicle, ex louvre for short, will serve as the Royal Navy's silent guardian against submarine incursions. Also under Project Cabot, this drone submarine is envisioned for persistent anti-submarine warfare patrols, equipped with advanced sonars, torpedoes, and the ability to deploy smaller unmanned underwater vehicles or gliders for extended surveillance. Capable of operating autonomously for weeks, the Type 93 will scour the ocean depths, relaying intelligence to surface assets like the Type 92, and providing a stealthy, expendable layer of protection. This platform addresses the growing submarine threat from peer adversaries, allowing the Navy to maintain underwater dominance without overextending its manned submarine fleet. The true power of these platforms lies in their integration. The Type 83 provides command and air superiority, while the Type 91 bolsters firepower. Meanwhile, the Type 92 and 93 form a dynamic anti-submarine warfare duo under Project Cabot, creating a persistent screen across the Atlantic to counter submarine threats. This networked approach leverages artificial intelligence, data links, and unmanned systems to achieve mass in naval operations, more platforms, more sensors, more weapons, without proportional increases in manpower or budget, by reducing risks to sailors and enabling rapid adaptation to emerging threats, these vessels will allow the Royal Navy to deter aggression, protect trade routes, and support allies effectively. As global tensions rise, this blend of innovation and tradition positions the UK as a leading naval power. In summary, the Type 83, the Type 91, the Type 92, and the Type 93 are not just ships, they are the building blocks of a revolutionary fleet. Through them, the Royal Navy will not only defend its interests, but dominate the seas for decades to come.